What is up guys, your boy Ren here today with another fantastic deck. Well, today we're gonna talk about the Reshazad Lock deck. Wait, what? Reshazad and Lock? Yes, it can be combined and with a success. But before I'm gonna talk about the deck itself, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon TCG news, Pokemon TCG decks, and a content from, for example, London Pokemon Center that is gonna come, well, vlog later today and other videos about that right around the weekend. So, Reshazad deck. We all know how Reshazad works. I'm not gonna get into details on the Reshazad. Outrage, Flare Strike, Double strong, double Blaze. Really good attacks, really impactful attacks, but we combine it with an Omastar, with a Fossil Bind Omastar that does not allow your opponent to play any items if they have more benched Pokemons than you. What a crazy idea. So let's just take a look what we have inside the deck. So we got a line of 3-3, Omanite and Omastar. Wait, Raven, you kind of missed uh, the fossil. Don't worry about that. We're going to talk about it in a second. Four Reshazots, three Cherish Balls. We got four Custom Catchers, two Fairy Flints, two Great Potions, Place it of Poke Gears, three Pokemon Communication, because they are really important to get Omanite. Uh, and Omastar. We've got two reset stamps, we've got three stadium navs, one giant hearth, three Pokemon research lab, and that is the key to get that Omastar, right? To get Omastar turn two as, as we play. We've got two power plants, one wonders labyrinth. I know this is crazy, but <laughs> bear with me. I'm sorry, I'm still sick. Uh, bear with me. When you're already established and you have a nice fire type engine for Reshazad, you can really and know your opponent fed or just destroy their game plan again they game plan with the wonders labyrinth mid game late game when they are like you know so set and you will not have any other tricks up your sleeve well you still have one more with wonders labyrinth and you're prepared for it so you have the energy that is necessity that is needed for your attacks well they don't and we've got four greens exploration, of course, and we have four welders with 12 energy in the deck. Of course, greens exploration, there are here so we can get what we need during those first turns and before we're gonna, of course, evolve into Omastar. So that is the whole deck. Let's go, let's play it and you will see how the deck performs yourself. For me, 95% of the time where we tested it on stream, we had Omastar turn two. Like, it was there every single time. So this means you want to go first, right? You want to get that stadium turn one. You want to go first, because when you use the stadium, your turn ends. But let's say you will not get the stadium. You can still play it as a normal Reshazad, still can attack and still deal a lot of damage. Uh-oh, water type, and we've got a fire type. I hope I'm not playing expanded, though, because uh, I think I finished the stream with expanded. So let's hope we're not, we're not playing it. So let's see our first hand. Let's go. We've got a Reshazad. I've got Pokemon Communication. We've got a Charge Ball. I've got everything and I go first. So literally we have everything right now because Charge Ball is going to go for Amastar. Pokemon uh, Pokemon Research Lab is going to go for the Omanyte. Like we are ready to go, right? Of course my opponent can play around it if he wants to. But I think he's uh, he's not gonna uh, do that. So this means I can play this. I still can play Green Sex Person. I can prepare my next turn, but I don't really want to spoil that. I don't want him to actually use Reset Stamp on May. So it's a pass, right? I'm just passing the turn. I've already have an Omanite. Next turn, Pokemon communication on the Omanite. I've got an Omastar turn two. How amazing is that, right? So turn two, he can't play any items, so he has to be fast. He has to do it right now. I could have gone for like Green's Exploration for Welder. I just didn't want to risk here. So it was just me, you know, trying to play around something and just me trying not to risk a lot. Was it a good play? Was it a bad play? Um, he did, didn't play Reset Stamp and he's not playing a Reset Stamp at all. He can, you know, get rid of my stadium. I don't care at this point right now. He can do it. It's fine with me, as long as he's gonna have more Pokemons on the bench. Let's go. And yeah, he's gonna use a Blazer. 
Let's see if he hit. No, he did not, but there's a B strength, so only 10 damage. It's okay for me. So, this means that now is the time for my magic. So what I'm going to do is, first things first, Green's Exploration. Why Green's Exploration now? Because later I would not be able to play it, which would be super, super bad. And Wonder's Labyrinth, actually. You know what? Welder. Do I want a Welder for the next turn? Uh, yeah, let's go Welder. So Welder and Wonder's Labyrinth. But that's like in the next turn, actually. Yeah, I, I could have messed it up a little bit. So there goes Omastar. There we go. And Outrage. So I'm not playing Wonder's Labyrinth now, because I want him to play something on the bench as well. And when I'm going to be ready, right? To strike, I'm going to strike. Please, dude, play it. And he played it, so Omastar right now working. He can't play any items whatsoever. And hopefully he is in shock. And of course, maybe I should have, you know, gone Giant Hearth. Like, there are so many possibilities, you know, there are so many things that you can do. Uh, thanks to, thanks to, you know, Green's Exploration before going for Omastar. And as I think right now, maybe that was a play, right? Just in playing this a little bit differently. But here you go. So he goes uh, this way. All right. Definitely no baby blaze is a hard thing to play against. But with Omastar, what I did, we're cutting him from B strings, which is also really good. So he will not be able to use B strings as we're gonna go down to like three price cards or whatever, right? Which is good because that's what we want, right? We don't want him to be able to use B strings. So he's going for a blazer again. And those are Fairy Flint, so only 10 damage. That's good. Now I have my Fairy Flint. Perfect. So this means I can play Welder. This means I can play Wonder's Labyrinth. This just opens up so many options for me, right? So let's play Welder. One, two, of course. More Custom Catchers, more Welders. I mean, we are really good here. And Wonder's Labyrinth. So I'm playing now Wonder's Labyrinth just to cut him down for the next turn. Because I know after I'm going to knock him out, Omastar is not working. So I have to be really careful right now of what I'm doing. And just getting that Wonder's Labyrinth now either lures Welder and he has to play three energies just to use this is Fireball Circus, which for him, it can be devastating because he needs to have, like, he has to have, you know, more energy in his hand. <laughs> and actually, you know, playing Welder for th for two and then another one. Yes, it can be a bummer for him. Like, it really can be a bummer uh, for my opponent. So that's why I played it the way I played it, right? That's why I went right now with Wonder's Labyrinth because this is a good disruption for him, because even if he wants to use a blazer, he still has to use, he still has to use another, another uh, energy. And he plays Green's Exploration, so he is going to prepare the next turn with, what I'm, I'm going to only assume, either he's going to go for a stadium, that is a play, he might go for a stadium, but I think Fairy Flint and Welder, like, those are going to be two cards he's going to go for. Like, you know, best option would be Shrine of Punishment, and something, but uh, you see, I said that Fairy Flint and Welder, that is a next turn move. <laughs> so he is preparing the next turn right now. <coughs> Energy from hand. So he can't do anything right now because he played the energy from hand on uh, on 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 uh, Blaze Falon. Wonder's Labyrinth is still in play, so he can't really do that. Maybe he doesn't know what it does. It's also a possibility. Well, in the meantime, you know, I can heal. 
I can try to find another Reshazad, right? And I can just try to get that, try to, you know, build up another Reshazad and attack with that. So let's see what we're gonna draw. We drew a power plant and not really something I need or want. So for the draw, I'm gonna play a welder. But that's for the draw, that's simply for the draw. And there we go, so I'm just preparing right now another Reshazad. Healing this one. There we go. And because I can't really use uh, the normal attack, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just knock him out with the GX. It's fine with me. That's a knockout. There's still a Wonders Labyrinth in play. I know he has a Welder, he has a Fairy Flint. But we also have options. I have a Stadium Nav that can get me Giant Hearth, which will give me two energies. So he has to still play three energies from his hand. And then 100, 200, so he needs six energies besides of that. So that has to be a turn when he plays. I mean, he can do that. Like there, It is a possibility. So he can really do that. All right. Blaze, so he's going for another Blaze Falon. Yeah, like, he thinks, that, oh, I'm so safe, I'm, I'm cool. No, you're not. Alright, so he's gonna use Fury Flint. And of course, I dislike, I do dislike B-Strings. That is such a... Such an annoying card. You literally have no idea. <coughs> there goes Fury Flint. So I think he has six. I do think he has six energy right now. I mean, I might be wrong, but I feel like he has two and then four. But also, you know, he might actually deck out because four like, deck out. He might it might have whiffed the energy because that's four three. He discarded the energy. Okay, so five. So that's eight. I think he has it. I think we might see knockout on rushes out right now. Yep, fire crystal. So he does have it. He does actually have it. But it's fine with me. It's honestly fine with me. I have an option uh, for the next turn. He has to discard it, right? He has to get rid of everything. So right now. So right now what we can do is just Go and play the Reshazad. Custom catcher for this one, because he has to find a way to retreat. And then and then we can start knocking him out. Of course he exactly knows what prize he's getting. That's uh, another thing. Stadium Nav. There we go, so Giant Hearth. There we go, Giant Hearth. Let's discard... Yeah, research lab, why not? Get two energies, and I can still get the energy from Welder, or out of Welder, so let's hope we're gonna get some. Done. There we go. Oof, and I really needed that energy. I did really need that energy, and we didn't get it. That can be a problem right now. We got only three. <sighs> I can play a welder and easily knock me out. I mean, I have to try it. I have to just bring this guy front. And outrage. Only took. Oh, is there still one more custom catcher somewhere? If only I just drew that energy, that would be a completely different story, because we would get rid of this Blaze Falon with the Flash Strike, and then he would be in so much trouble. But now, there we go, so there's a Beast Ring. For only two, that's a retreat. I think he has it. Oh, he's going for it, so that was attachment from hand. Yeah, he has it. Uh, 
only only if right only if and <clears throat> what can I say let's go that was a bad representation of a deck because I mean the deck is really good like honestly the deck is really good we've seen it on 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 a uh, stream we just kind of couldn't get it right this time couldn't get it right let's go Mickey hello Mickey two three seven 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 nine seven call the coin flip my friend and let's play the game. Hello, Mickey. <clears throat> Heads or tails? There you go. I've lost... When you lose, it generally means you're going second. Oh, come on, Mickey. Like, leave other tabs and just focus on PCG, alright? Mickey? Thank you. Oh, okay, I'm going first. That's great, because this means he doesn't know. Like, he can't know, but, you know, he doesn't know what's about to come. So hopefully, we got Reshazad, Welder, Stadium Nav, so it's not really that bad, but if I'm playing another Blaze Falon, like Baby One, oh, that's gonna be, <laughs> that's gonna be unfortunate. I mean, you know, Reshazad with, you know, oh my god, it just destroys Malamar, it destroys uh, Mew 3, it destroys so many decks. You have no idea. It's an incredible, incredible strategy to use. And he, look at that. He's going for it, right? So now I can just focus on my plan. Okay, there we go. It's an Axu deck. So Stadium Nav. Heads. Alright, so one heads. This means research. But it also does mean I can play Welder. So there goes Welder. Additional draw of three cards. Which gives me Green's Exploration, so next turn I will have Pokemon Communication. And Welder, or Giant Herve. So Omanite, already, right? The consistency with Omanite and Omastar is incredible with this Dex. I mean, like, really, it just works at its peak. Right, excuse so me, putting some energy over here. Erika's Hospitality. <clears throat> Yeah, this was like a weird rogue type of deck, honestly. It, it, okay, Mysterious Treasure, sure. Play it as you can. So he passed the turn, great. Great, 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 great. Because this means, Green's Exploration first. And I'm gonna go for Welder and, of course, Pokemon Communication, right? Maybe I should have gone for Giant Hearth. Oh, never mind. Um. Of course, energy. Pokemon communication. And that's Omastar. And there we go. Turn to Omastar again. Again, a nice turn to Omastar. And if I, you know, there's no need of me playing Wonders Labyrinth right now. Outrage. And I'm starting to do my plan. He can't play that mysterious treasure that he drew. He can't play any items. He has to just slowly grind towards every single piece that he has. And you know, if he's gonna play some ability <coughs> like a GX, we still have we still have uh, our GX attack, the double base with six energy and much more. Mail type energy, sure. Okay, I think I've done already Haxu deck at certain points, so if you want to check that one out, I highly recommend that. And it's an Outrage. Weakness. There we go. And the Giant Herb, so Giant Herb was not even in the deck, so I did not misplay it. Because it was not even in the deck, because we do play one. But now we have, right, so I have Giant Herb, I have Welder. I can try to find another custom catcher and just get rid of Fracture. Alright, Mount Corona, sure. So this means Giant Hearth. I'm gonna discard Cherish Ball, get two energies, play a Welder, and start attacking. Like that, that's all I'm gonna do. We locked our opponent, and that is important. 
There we go. And I can still attach energy from my hand. Use a flash strike. Bam! And just pass the turn as as Amistar is well not working right now. So maybe I should have waited actually. <coughs> so what was Haxi doing, by the way? Because I don't remember at all. Okay, so amount of energy attached to this Pokemon. Alright. Yeah, this is not enough. Janin, yeah, like, he, he needed Welder. Like, Janin is not the play here. Maybe ends resolve in the future, but this... Not really a play. But of course, you know, he can get and discard that stadium. Oh crap. Or maybe that was a play. Actually, I forgot about the ability. That's a knockout. Forget about the ability. Got punished. But it's okay. It's still okay. I honestly forgot about the ability that he can discard stadiums. Well, you know, that mistake is on me. Right? Like, this is on me. Come on, dude. Uh, just forgetting about something like that. It shouldn't happen. Honestly, it should not happen. So, there goes Stamp. So, Pokegear. I have to leave it. Oh man, I think he got me. Oh boy, he got me. That is not cool. Like how it is that the deck was performing so well during their stream against Malamars, you know, all of that stuff. And now I'm fighting those rogue decks. <coughs> it's so funny. <coughs> It's really funny to see how, you know, the algorithm works in that game. But it's okay, it's fine, you know, it happens. And sometimes, you know, sometimes... <clears throat> the game just doesn't work the way you would like to. But it's fine, it's okay. Let's see, what can I do? Which is nothing. I can literally do nothing. Hmm. I do have to think now, and... <clears throat> I mean, it's not gonna really really happen, but I have to bring, like, no, whatever, let's say, Axew. Oh, yeah, let, okay, after this misplay, okay, so you can't do it on Axew, yeah. But he got me. Oh, so is this deck bad? Um, honestly, as I said many times, tier 1 decks really struggle against rogue decks. They do really struggle against those, like, really weird ones. Uh, but this Reshazad, you know, Omastar deck, the Reshilok, as I call it, works really, really good against all the tier 1s. But that's the thing. It struggles against the rogue decks. And I think that's the whole thing with tier 1 decks, they really do struggle sometimes with super weird builds and crafts that they're not really meant to play against. So I still highly recommend the deck, you know, definitely check it out, copy and paste it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like that, for more decks, more ideas, and down there below we have a 5% discount any code we purchase on Professor Oak, and you have the whole deck in the description as well. So see you guys on Twitch, thank you guys so much for watching the video, goodbye, and good night, boink, see you guys, bye.